Okay, welcome to the 10 minute trading room. This is how to trade only 10 minutes a day and exactly how to take the guesswork out of trading. Now, uh, as I texted early on in the day, uh, not planning for any new trades, um, I went through all the outlier list and what I saw, there was, there was a lot of opportunities today, but none of the opportunities match our risk profile um, for buying or selling. So none of them are on the table for us today. So the only thing we're gonna be doing is looking at what is in our portfolio, taking things off if we need to do so. But of course, we need to approach every day risk first because risk is what's gonna keep you in the game. Let's take a look at real quick at the market. We do have the SPY with the 10 period over the 20 period, price over the 50 period, so this is definitely bullish, that is looking good. And the MMFI, as you know, we like to check that. Fine. Look at this, look at this recovery here. Anybody out there who's saying the, the market is um, overbought, the market doesn't have legs, they're completely wrong. This is when the market finally has legs. <laughs> so yeah, don't be discouraged on a day when the market pulls back just a little bit. Yorn, good to see you, good to see you, Yorn. Um, I did wanna mention, uh, Yorn and I are meeting right immediately after this. Yorn, once we hang up, if you wanna jump into the link that April sent you, um, we can just get started right away. We don't have to wait till three o'clock if that works for you, or three o'clock central time if that works for you. Um, so yeah, that's what we got with the market. Fin Club came in orange today. So what we have on the books today are a handful of stocks and let's go through each one. So CL Colgate Palmolive, we are short this one. Let's start with that. Clean up the chart a little bit. All right. So we took a short in this one from 78 to 76. Currently it's at 75, 16. From a chart perspective, definitely looks bearish. And from the outlier perspective, continues to look bearish. Um, definitely looks like it's moving in the right direction. We wanna see the uh, the green colors getting lighter, moving into the pink colors, so CL stays on. Next is UBS. Now, UBS has been really interesting. This ride has been interesting to watch because uh, this one we bought it at 2015, really crashed down hard to 17 or 1876. And uh, I, I was, honestly, I was not loving this one. It's actually back now. Uh, slightly profitable by about 10 cents. And uh, this one here, we do not have that exit point yet on the buy. So we're continuing to hold, continuing to hold UBS. Going to the next one, NLY. Now NLY, uh, early, earlier today, I was done with it. Reason being that I was done with it was A, number one, uh, we have not got a, uh, a reversal signal on this yet, nor have we got a, a signal to get out on NLY. So I was looking at this earlier today and when I texted, hey, I'm ready to close my puts on this. Uh, what time was that at? 9.53 a.m. my time, central time. Um, that was above this recent high over here. And so I was like, you know what? There's nothing bearish about that when it's making new highs. Uh, but right now, if it's gonna close on the lows here, I'm gonna keep it because I don't have my exit signal just yet. But if it were closing above this number here, this high that was set at 2012, yeah, I was gonna get out. There's just no reason when it's setting new highs. But if it's gonna reverse and come back down, I'm up for it. So keeping in LY. Next is SPY Victor. Good to see you, my friend. SPY, I believe SPY is, yeah, we entered this one on June 1st. I think that was a Thursday with a nice pop-up. Moving sideways on that, totally no issue there. Um, we do have a buy point showing on that date. We don't have our exit point just showing yet, but I do believe the next shade of green that would show on here would be our exit point. Let me double check that real quick. Yeah, the, if you look in the bottom right corner, you can see the shades of green. Um, what I like to do is I like to exit on the shade of green that starts with the 88. And, oh my gosh, I've probably backtested 200 charts at this point. Um, going through, finding the, the best entry and exits. And uh, we are not quite there yet. I believe it's just one more shade of green to go before we get there. So this could be the next day or two. Go ahead and tap out and move on with the trade. Uh, but that one stays on. Next is XLY. We got into this one yesterday. XLY was up really strong this morning. I was super excited about that. Again, just like SPY, it has not reached the closure point of the SPY signal that came in um, two days ago. And it is currently at 
5836, just, I mean, a smidge over where we got in. 57, or actually 80 cents above where we got in. Um, this high, I was watching here. If we could close above it, and we have, which is really good. And uh, like I say, this morning, it was way up here. Now, I do want to tell you a little change to the strategy is once it starts hitting these one ATR points, I want to start rolling. In fact, I believe we did. Yeah, we did do that in SPY. We want to roll these up and out. Two reasons. Number one is we can take profits off the table now. By taking profits off the table now, you can fund more trades into your account. And the trade is now less risk. So it was, um, let's say if it was $1,000 of risk, you've taken off $250 in, in uh, credit per contract, $250 per contract. And now your total risk on the trade is $750. But you get to keep the trade on, which is pretty outstanding. And you have that $250 that you can now trade with. So that's what you do when you roll it up. Now, by rolling it out, that gives us more time um, because with these options, of course, all options have an expiration date. And if it doesn't have a expiration or if the expiration date comes before the closure point, we don't want that to happen. Right. So we want to push it up and out whenever we hit these ATR points, which allows the trade to stay alive and for us to take some profits off the table. So XLY stays on. And lastly, SPLG, which I mentioned yesterday, this one is exactly the same as SPY, just 10 times less cost, which is pretty cool. So of course, this one is not to an exit point yet, uh, but it does look like it could be approaching that point um, anytime soon. And what are we, about, about flat on this one, 50, I mean, within a penny. So yeah, uh, so that is the plan for today. Like I said, I had planned to take off uh, NLY, but if it's not setting new highs at the close, I am open to keeping it on, waiting for that exit signal to come. So um, real quick, want to mention, um, we are definitely going to be out next week. A lot of these are expiring next Friday. Um, so I, this coming Friday, uh, we'll be making decisions on if we're going to um, take them off, if we're going to roll them out any further. And then while I'm on vacation, um, we're going to a beach house. Uh, I'll, I'll still text you on the Discord. We're not going to add any new trades, but if we do need to take something off, I will be in touch with you to let you know what we're taking off.